Good evening. There's more pain on the way for Adelaide commuters with train drivers set to walk off the job for four hours tomorrow as a pay dispute with the state government drags on. Harvey Biggs joins us live from the Adelaide Railway Station and Harvey, tomorrow's strike could be just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, that's right, Will. The union has made it very clear that tomorrow's stop work meeting is a chance for its members to have its say and endorse a campaign of more industrial action. The union says the government's latest offer decreases job security. Tomorrow's strike will begin at 10am and last for four hours, just as thousands of university students try to get to exams. Replacement buses will be brought in, but there's no guarantee they will cover all train services. I think it's ridiculous. I think people rely on the trains and public transport. It's both wanting to support them, but also feeling it's hard that it's us that uh, the, the, the consumers that get hurt by it. These interruptions are not necessary. Uh, the government's at the table. We're willing to negotiate. We've made that clear. We just want this resolved as quickly as possible. I call on the government to come out and let South Australians know, do they have a secret plan to sell off part of the train and tram system, as some of the drivers on both sides of the uh, train and tram network have alluded to me. The government has categorically denied it has any plans to privatise the tram or train network. It will meet with the unions this week to continue negotiations, which have been going on now for more than a year. And the message will to commuters travelling via train tomorrow is to check the Adelaide Metro website for updates and to plan ahead. Yeah, thanks very much. Harvey Biggs there.